Are you experiencing cabin fever yet? Are you running out of some ideas of things to do in this bitter cold with the kids? Well, I have some solutions for you, some science experiments that you can try out and you can learn a little something new in the process. So let's begin. We've got three different liquids right here. Water, just plain H2O, white vinegar, and vegetable oil. Look, this frozen solid vinegar, a little slushy. Look at that. It didn't fully freeze, just a top layer of ice. And vegetable oil just looks like jelly. Ooh, that's kind of nasty. So it's because all those different molecules, all these different liquids are made up of something different, right? And it takes a little bit longer for those molecules to freeze. And the vegetable oil, the vinegar has a much lower freezing point. So it's going to take a little longer for those liquids to freeze. Okay, next up, try this science experiment. Fill up a bottle of water of warm water, only about a third full. And we're going to put it inside a bowl of ice cold water and see what happens to the bottle. Okay, it's not very dramatic, but you can tell that this bottle is starting to collapse inward. You see all the pressure that's trying to a change inside the bottle. This is as the temperature is dropping inside that water bottle, the pressure's changing and the high pressure outside the bottle is pushing it in and therefore it collapses. So maybe you don't have a bowl of ice cold water, but you could certainly put it in the snow that we have on the ground. Let's see if it continues to do this. Yeah, look at it, it's collapsing. Wow, amazing how the change in temperature changes the pressure too. And we can see that happen to this water bottle. This experiment, we left a Coke bottle outside for about an hour and a half. Before we did that, we shook it up real good so that we could get some bubbles to form when we open up the Coke. So we're gonna see what happens. The goal here is to see if we can change the liquid over to a solid, maybe make a slushy out of this Coke. Let's see. Oh, you see it starting? Well, it didn't fully go through, but you can see that top layer looks pretty slushy. Let's see what happens if I pour it out. Maybe we can see some of that slush come out. Oh, you see how it's chunky? Oh, look how much slush is coming out. Yum, cheers. Okay, we've got a helium balloon here and it's really deflated when you bring it outside because all of the molecules inside get really close together and it loses its volume inside the balloon so we can really compact it. So when we come back inside, all of a sudden the helium, the air starts to expand inside the balloon and it gets to be very full again. Look, a full heart balloon back in its normal shape. All right, this experiment is the best one yet and ideal to do in temperatures below zero degrees. So we boiled the water, we've got a cup, let's go outside. It's important to have parent supervision with this one because we're, of course we're dealing with boiling water. And if there is a breeze outside, put your back to the wind so that the water and the cloud forms ahead of you, not towards you. All right, let's see what happens. We've got boiling water inside this cup. I'm gonna bring off the top because I wanted to keep it as hot as I possibly could. Oh, look at that steam. Already some evaporation occurring. We're gonna see if we can get a lot more evaporation and create a cloud as we throw this boiling water into the bitter cold. In three, two, one. How beautiful is that? We're making a cloud that quickly because it is so cold outside and the evaporation process happens so fast, it condenses to form a cloud in the cold weather. Hopefully these science experiments can relieve some of that cabin fever that we have in this cold, cold air. Let us know how it goes at home. Stay safe and happy Arctic blast.